Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So let's take a look at your no contact situation, current energies for your person, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Tower and the Knight of Wands. Guys, the Knight of Wands and the Tower together can follow the Seduction and the Addiction Oracle cards because this person found a way to make you an offer when it comes to the opportunity to begin a romantic connection, when in reality they were up to something completely different, we can think about a bad liar, a cheater, a heartbreaker, and also about someone, maybe for some of you, that was in another relationship when they met you, but they couldn't care less, they still pursued the connection with you until the tower exploded. This person can be in a good position, King of Pentacles, and they can be so full of themselves and also so full of something else, not exactly pleasant, to think that even if they gave you the worst possible impression about themselves, they can still have a chance with you. So they can be that naive. To you, I would say that the Oracle cards that we got can be meaningful learning experience. You got burned by the connection with this person. So careful what you wish for when you hear from them one more time. Strength and guidance. You have to stand in your power, in your integrity, in your self-respect, because this person doesn't seem to be someone that can truly care about a potential lover, you know? They want to have fun, yes, but they don't care if someone else gets hurt in the process. Guys, this is a tricky set of energies. So maybe a reading for just a few, but there can be lessons even in a situation like this one. So let me see, guys. Let me see the Knight of Cups. Hierophant. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. High Priestess. Major Couple. So, I stand by the consideration that we have shared about an individual that was in another relationship but still got the chance to interact with you. Four of Pentacles, keeping secrets because of the Seven Swords. Five of Pentacles, now they are out in the cold. This person is not built for a reliable partnership. And even if they were free when your connection began, sex was the main goal for them. Maybe they got it. They got the chance with you. The Five of Pentacles describes their mentality. They are not interested in a Hierophant High Priestess real partnership in the single scenario. And that's why the tower fell apart. They are still the same guys, even if they reach out for another chance, they are still the same. If this person is in another relationship and you are aware of that, they can still reach out and they can say to you that they can leave their partner for you. Be careful with this type of strategy because there can be a hidden agenda involved. Speaking of that, What's holding them back? Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Judgment, Page of Pentacles. The opportunity to apologize to you may not be 
a sufficient requisite in order to grant success in favor of this person, and they can be smart enough to know that. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, they are harsh energies. Together, we move to the Ten of Swords. So the deal was over. Guys, matter of seduction, addiction. This person can be addicted to sex. This is more than an option. The judgment can be a moment of truth, a moment of clarity, because this person can find a way in the two scenarios to reach out in order to say to you, look, I got my clarity, you know, the connection with you is the one that I want. So let's try again. I know that you want me or you still want me. So let's reignite the connection like nothing happened between the two of us. And some of you can look at this person like you are not only surprised, but almost shocked by the bold face, you know, that they can display. They do not care. They can say anything. This person can say anything, you know. They are one of those people. Let's see the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords combination of energies, guys. Six of Pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic. This person takes advantage of other people. Unpleasant individual, allow me to say that. Magician, a manipulator, someone that constantly works, angles on other people. They twist words, they twist the situations, and they have a talent when it comes to that. This person cannot be trusted. The moon, boy, this combination of energies, my goodness. <laughs> One of the most challenging, I guess. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Magician Moon, plus the Tower, the Knight of Wands. I mean, this person. This person doesn't deserve any type of trust. Dishonest. They are not loyal. They are not truthful. Pathological liar, maybe, they can be. So even if you receive an apology from this person, I mean, do you really care about it? It's better to lose someone like this than to find them, you know? Will they reach out? The sun, three of ones, the world and the four of ones. They are going to take some time because of the standby that comes from the three of ones. The sun is an urge about expansion, so I am leaning towards the fact that this person can reach out, especially guys, if they are not in another relationship. If we think about the real opportunity for you to build something stable and reliable with this person, think twice because the option may be off the table. If this person is in another relationship, they can still find a way to reach out to you and they can say that they are willing to leave behind the old relationship because you make them happy. And so that's why you should grant in their favor new access in your life. Be careful if you face such a conversation because this person cannot be trusted. So let me see guys, the three of ones which is a spiritual energy about intentions and the willingness to co-create with the universe. This person, though, can think that you are still available to work things out with them. I wouldn't hold my breath about that. 
Eight of Swords, stuck in a mindset, they cannot change their ways. They do not know how to do that. Ace of Cups. Love seems to be a question mark when it comes to this person. They can say that they are in love with you, but I wouldn't believe a word coming from an individual like this one. And the Ace of Pentacles. A gift, a promise, a major apology, even an offer of commitment. Guys, maybe you have already received this type of, you know, offers, yes, kind of projects, but the Four of Pentacles is an energy that is not available to share the Ace of Pentacles. So I would say that if you think about the opportunity to share love and commitment together with this person, you can realize that the situation is a dead end. Of course, it can be if this individual is in another relationship still. So that scenario is not good, 100%. But even if they are free, guys, you already saw the true colors of this person. They are not pleasant. So, I mean, how can you even picture in your mind the opportunity to share the Ace of Cups gift and the cornerstone, the Ace of Pentacles, together with them in order to honor the For One's energy, which is a vision. So for partnership, 11-11 card for a lot of readers. This is a matter of long-term projects. This person may not be built for that. So guys, if you ask me, these energies are a warning for those of you that can resonate with the overall scenario. We are talking about a liar, someone that cannot be trusted. So how can we think about a future together with someone that we cannot trust? This says everything about the overall situation. So act accordingly. This is what I can say. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.